Liv Ullman and Ingmar Bergman created the most complete portrait of modern men and women striving to lead passionate and meaningful lives. They lived together for five years, never married, but Liv had their daughter, Lynn, within a year of the beginning of their relationship. Their collaboration spanned 11 films and lasted until Bergman's death in 2007. Few cinematic partnerships have lasted this long or been so rich. The movies they made together in the 1960s proved to generations of filmmakers that a director could use experimental techniques to probe deeply into character. In the two entries I've chosen for this Creative Marriages series, Shame from 1968 and The Passion of Anna from 1969, Bergman and Ullman break new ground in content and in form. These movies broaden the context for his usual examinations of personal crises and damaged relationships. Previously, he rooted his movies in explorations of faith and loss of faith and existential angst. In Shame and the Passion of Anna, he considers private catastrophes where they intersect with politics and society. When they first teamed up in 1965 to make Persona, international audiences assumed that Bergman was some Spangali molding her to fit his ideals. After all, she was 26 and he was 47 and the master of world cinema. But Ullman, who is Norwegian, had starred in Norwegian films since 1957 and had played major roles on stage, including Shaw's St. Joan. Bergman, of course, had been directing since 1946. B.B. Anderson and Bergman had long ceased to be lovers when Ullman and Anderson struck up a friendship on a Norwegian film set. Later, during a visit to Sweden, Ullman and Anderson ran into Bergman on a street corner, and he asked Ullman if she'd like to act in a film for him. The combination of Ullman and Anderson had already caught his eye in a photograph, so when he initially conceived a persona, he had Anderson and Ullman in mind. Bergman was married to a concert pianist. Ullman was married to a psychiatrist. But in a line that could have come out of one of his movies and one that resonated throughout their relationship, Bergman told her, you and I are painfully connected. Bergman had already made the 1961 film Through a Glass Darkly on Fora Island in the Baltic Sea. Its severe beauty and isolation suited him. When he returned there to shoot Persona, he resolved to work there and live there as long as he could. He later wrote, During the filming, Liv and I were overwhelmed by passion. With monumental lack of judgment, I built the house with the idea of a mutual existence on the island. I forgot to ask Liv what she thought. The movies Bergman and Ullman made during their Fora Island period, Persona, Hour of the Wolf, Shame, and The Passion of Anna, play as if they were made within the same emotional arboretum. And they were. The remote setting outside and the feelings of guilt, insecurity, jealousy, and confusion that come with any new, freshly charged relationship saturated the scripts that Bergman wrote and rewrote in his office there. The movies he made with Ullman, starting with Persona, are explosive. They test the bounds of the medium. By the end of Persona, fueled by his passion for Ullman, he'd become a different director. <laughs> 